Hello everyone, Genma the Samurai here, and welcome back to this part of Shining Force 3 Scenario 2. Alright guys, so, uh, in between parts there were quite a number of complications, a few days in fact, uh, but basically I went and installed a driver so I could use GameCube controllers on this uh, computer since I had a GameCube adapter, and uh, I guess the drivers for that uh, really messed up a few things, and so because of that, um, I was having weird glitches, like my, what was supposed to be my left and right triggers was like left and right on the right analog stick and stuff like that, and, uh, when I went to change the inputs, it wasn't letting me change inputs, and so I went through a very nightmarish cycle of trying to get, uh, controller working again. Thankfully, I could have just used, you know, keyboard bindings if I really needed to, but, Either way, I'm glad I get to use this, and it is still wireless, so I got that working as well. Just, yesterday was all kinds of technical difficulties. But anyways, I'm going to be looking around this village for a little bit, and I will see you guys, uh, well, after I do that, so you guys know the drill. So, one second. Okay, I didn't really find that much of significance, uh, so we're just gonna get going. Um, okay. See, so yeah, I found out the ruin map is actually for uh, this fight. Like, I was looking at a guide. Um, I guess also since then, I did find a working guide. Uh, some people sent it to me, uh, both Chinagon and some other people on a uh, Shining Force uh, Discord I've joined. So, uh, yeah, so now I know. I uh, just wanted to clarify that. But, anyways. There's a Republican army. Okay. Oh, another beast! Everyone, charge! Triangle attack! Not for up. Dang. The beasts have turned vicious. They attack in broad daylight. What has possessed them? Maybe just my imagination, but I think they've gotten stronger too. We should be safe after crossing the bridge. Oh, the statue must have just gotten destroyed. Okay. That, that's a nice planting of the seeds. Beasts attacking in broad daylight? That's unusual for beasts to be so brazen. Wasn't in that other map that I think it's safe to assume something strange is happening. What could be causing this? I can't be certain just yet. However, this puzzle is coming together one piece at a time. Hmm. I have a feeling we'll find some answers soon. We shouldn't dally. Let's cross the bridge and follow their trucks. Okay. Cool. Well, anyways. Oh, uh... I wanted to save really quick. Um, before, you know, I get too caught up into the fighting here. Um, if you guys hear a fan, I'm sorry. It is really, really hot today. You guys know how summer is. Um, hopefully it isn't that loud. I have it on the lowest setting. It's just like, yeah, I don't exactly have air conditioning in here right now, so I hope you guys understand. Anyways, um... Do, 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 do. Alright, Campbell. Oh yeah, that's right. This isn't Fire Emblem. He isn't gonna counter attack unless you know. Okay. <laughs> uh. Now, I I really need to work on not bringing that up, this stupid blazer, because it's just like comes up at least once every single part. Um. Okay. So Medion, you're gonna stand there, and sure, go for it. Oh, I didn't do it, but, um, I found out that, um, freaking Zero over here, he starts off with, like, level 2 with swords, so I could train him with something else if I really wanted to, so maybe I will, we'll see. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, so I did have to change my control scheme slightly. There's like one button I'm probably never gonna use because I had to map it to some place weird since the triggers aren't really working. Um, it was the one that like resets the camera behind me, but like that's what I have the rotating camera for. I rarely ever use that anyway. Um, and plus, where it snapped to was never really that great. 
Um, I am keeping the one that, like, you know, shows me where places are. Uh, also, I was amazed, uh, I guess not everyone realized that was a thing, so that was fun. Um, okay. Go, Synthesis! Boop! Okay, so is probably gonna get attacked in a second, um, so I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I love the music! I don't know. Uh, someone else is probably gonna get attacked, but I can get away with that. Yeah. I should use that cookie on someone. Um, Hazuki, can you do it? Yeah, you should be able to. Boom! Look at that flip. Now, in hindsight, there were some edits I probably should have done. In, like, I probably should have done, like, you know, Naruto music, and I forgot to cut out junk. Like, no one really called that out, but I normally cut out, like, you know, me going to talk to my dog and stuff. But I didn't do it this time. So that wasn't. That was unfortunate. Um. Okay, though. Well. <sighs> I think it must not have been that big of a deal, but yeah, you never know. So, yeah, I'm still getting back into the groove of playing this. Um, hopefully, I can beat this in a timely manner. I am realizing, at least like early on, within reason, I might try and record a little more than, than a chapter a week if I can. Just because, like, you know, if I do get working, then I won't have as much time. And, uh, even with that, I still think it'll take me, like, three months to, like, beat all, th th all of these scenarios. Um, and I'd prefer to be freed up a bit for when classes start again in, like, September, which is the actual thing I'm worried about. Um, so I'm just trying to figure all of this out. Um, go Campbell, go Hazuki. Um, I also need to talk to the school again as soon as possible in terms of, uh, Signing up for classes. And the water looks so freaking weird <laughs> in this game. Okay, uh, zero? What do you want to go for? Um, let's see. Actually, yeah, if I gave him a rapier, oh my goodness, he probably could be, like, doing special damage against these guys, right? Like, doesn't that do special damage against, uh, monsters? Uh, well, that would be good to know, I guess. Um, attack. Go Bernard! Dude. Woo! That's arrow! There we go. I guess it was also a platform I missed in terms of like walking up it. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't see it there. But either way, I mean, I got the map done. I don't know. Um, go Medion. Okay. Well, you took that hit a lot more than I thought you would. Um. <laughs> I love this music. Uh, actually, I went and started playing. Uh, frick. I went and started playing uh, Fire Emblem 4 a little bit. Uh, I was, at one point, considering that as a Let's Play thing, um, so I'm sorry that I'm not doing that blind, I guess, anymore, but that, that game's kind of crazy. Um, more on that later, but, like, gosh, it is a very technical game, even for Fire Emblem, uh, so, and the maps are fudging gigantic, uh, gosh, I'm talking about freaking Fire Emblem, again, but, like, eh, okay. Okay, I need to talk about something else. Um, <laughs> so, I, I recently did uh, relaunch my Patreon, I guess. I guess that's something I could kind of talk about. Um, now, I wasn't really expecting like, a lot of uh, support for it. Um, just because, like, you know, not a lot of you guys have a lot of money. And most of uh, you know, my fans are uh, on the younger side of things as well. And, and plus, like, you know... I'm, I'm not like, oh gosh, you guys aren't donating, this is a horrible thing, like, like, I had a comment, and I, I realized, like, you know, it's the troll comments, you get them all the frickin' time, but I got, like, a comment from some person that was like, 
Hey, uh, you want you want to give me money? Get a real job, it, like loser. You know that kind of thing. And like, okay, person. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I mostly just set it up just because like uh, it would just be kind of extra money in case I ever really need it. Because I'm currently like you know trying to get independent as soon as possible, and I've made a lot of uh, mistakes, you know, leading up to this other thing. So. Uh, even though, like, um, and I'm not, like, trying to push for all of you guys to donate. It's just, like, an option if you guys want to go that route. Um, and you guys would get some nice perks out of it, you know? Um, but, anyway, let me check real quick. Um, items. Wait, hold on. Can I? Alright. So, I'm trying to remember. Is there... What's the switch person? Okay, so, hold on. No, that's not it. Okay, um. Let's see, who has. Ah, so Campbell has it. Um. Where is the entrance to this? Oh, it's over there. Okay, so Medion, if you stand there. Okay, so that's how I'm going to trigger it. I'm going to wait till then to get that going. Um, yeah, Rock, you're going to chill there still. And, okay, well, be done. You're going to camp out fairly close to it, not in front of it. But, yeah, um, no, so I really don't want people to get the misconception that I'm, like, you know, not going to try and get, like, work or anything. I'm absolutely doing that. Um, my only thing, uh, was more just, like, it would be, like, extra money if anyone didn't want to donate. I hope I'm conveying that correctly, and I also know some people took issue with some of the rules I set up, and I understand that, um, I'm hoping to make an update video sometime soon to elaborate on some of that stuff because they are fairly valid, uh, stuff like, uh, my content release system, which I, uh, decided to do things that way, uh, more on the basis of, like, hey, uh, you know, what if someone, you know, paid for, like, a video, and then they just, like, decided, oh, I don't want to put money towards it anymore. Like, that would freaking suck. And some of it, I don't know how Patreon works. <laughs> I have yet to really, like, meet someone that, like, knows how to, uh, make it so that, like, you know, the donations go straight to me, because as far as I know, it's either, like, a soul steal spell. Oh, is that, like, a the insta-death spell? Come on, what the frick? Well, I'm gonna check that out. Uh, oh my gosh, is it? Drains life of darkness. I could, like, one-hit kill some enemies? Dude, that's sweet. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just the Patreon thing was a thing. Um, Anyway, enough about that. Um, <laughs> God dang it. So, yeah, I don't know. How are you guys <laughs> doing on this fine day? You guys can comment down below. Um, I probably won't see it for a few things, but yeah, there you go. Um, well, let's see. You know, it's a game I never really played, um, but I've heard many, 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 many people uh, advise it to me is uh, frickin uh, Final Fantasy Tactics um, now I have no idea how like yeah I've never really played it so I mean that probably would be a candidate for at least a stream series the thing is like I normally normally speaking uh, tactics RPG RPGs I wouldn't do as a let's play I do them as like uh, I think we had, like I would do them as stream series for the most part like that's what I did with uh, Fire, Emblem, Fire Emblem 7 with Fire Emblem 7, but um okay, so yeah, I think Rock okay, here's my plan, I think I'm gonna use Rock to open it and then I move everyone else, maybe um yeah, no, um I wouldn't mind doing, like, more tactical RPGs, but the thing is like as Let's Plays, at least, they go on for a very, very long time. Um, I try to make them as entertaining as possible when people watch them, though. 
because uh, I know like a lot of the time, uh, you know, when people play tactical RPGs, uh, even I've even done this though, is that a lot of the commentary can devolve into like you know people being quiet because they run out of things to talk about, and I certainly do. <laughs> um, but you know, I try my best with this. Uh, at the very least, let's see. Hold on, I'm gonna cure you. Boop. So, okay. <laughs> I have no idea what you just said, Ryudo, but I like it. Uh, okay, so, cool, let's do this. Inspect. <laughs> mine! All mine! I'm taking the treasure at these ruins and nothing can stop me! Yeah. Meh! There we go. <laughs> Those bandits intend to steal the treasure from those ruins. Prince Meteon, if we have the troops to spare, we should stop them. Oh boy. Wait, is it gonna work like I think it... Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that was nice of you. Um... So, Tessus, you're gonna go there. Uh, can you go in there? Nope, you can't. Okay. Uh, Campbell. Uh, okay. Yep. Matt, move. Um, that move. Do 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 do. Music's so good. I fucking love this game's music, man. Do 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 do. That's right. Okay. Oh. Do 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 do. Gosh. Yeah, I mean, I've made it pretty clear at this point, like, you know, my thoughts on this game from Scenario 1, and it hasn't really changed that much for this one. Um, I'm glad to be into more interesting and new stuff. I think the thing that really uh, did frustrate me about um, the previous uh, chapter, I guess, was just how much it was retreading uh, Scenario 1 a bit. I don't care as much about that. So I would want one of those guys to take the red treasure chest, and then I can, uh, you know, punch him in the face a bit. Um, all right, Sintessas, you're gonna stay out here with this group. I think this is a good crowd to keep out here. Um, okay. But, yeah, I mean, at this point, though, we are running into new stuff, and so I want to see, you know, where the story goes from here. Um, I guess I did, I don't know if I should go into too much detail about this, because I ranted about it uh, to my friend. Um, I did watch gameplay of that uh, new Shining game, uh, Shining Resonance. It looks okay. I think the game has, um, it looks okay. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. I know, like, um, there's a lot of games out there that um, they feel very much like okay w while we're doing this because it's gonna you know it's financially beneficial I don't know what the frick I'm trying to say here okay um, so I think Campbell will drop off if we move fast so uh, boy oh boy Okay. Yeah, I have a a lot of these songs on my actual um phone. Um, I just listen to them sometimes. I so I'm kind of weird in the aspect of like. I like video games a lot, um, and I like the more, I don't know what is it my music taste in particular, where like, I'm not usually into normal music that much, uh, so it's always that like awkward question where someone's like, hey, what kind of music are you into? And I'm like, usually my answer is, uh, 80s style music, because that is probably my favorite, uh, and by that, I, I don't think that's the actual genre of music, um, but, you know, the more, um, 
ACDC, uh, Bon Jovi kind of stuff. I like that. It's cheesy as crap, and I love everything about it. I don't know. Um, I think some of that is just because I, I grew up listening to a lot of Crush 40, which is that kind of music, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm a nerd. What can I say? <laughs> it is awkward, though. Especially around here. I know um, down in Cali a little bit. I had a lot of friends that, you know, were um, pretty big nerds like me. Maybe at the college, if I talk to more people. I've just mostly been doing online classes, I guess. This is where we get to real talk with Gen. You know? <laughs> um, uh... Protect ring. Mm. Huh. Alright, Campbell, you're gonna go after... Uh... Actually... Campbell, what is your attack? Um, your attack is 21. What is your defense? Um, 8. <laughs> no, no, it's not 8, it's 6. So, uh, ouch. You will take the one item that person has, though. Um, which at that point, you know, I'm just gonna have someone with a projectile do that. And then, Campbell, you're gonna go for that person. Um, another treasure chest? Why are you heading over here? Oh, that's an exit over there. Okay. Um, attack with the shuriken. Okay. <laughs> but no, I really do like that each army has their own little battle themes and stuff. It does remind me of Radiant Dawn. <sighs> um, so Disgaea. I watched my friend play Disgaea. It looked really over the top and fun. And <laughs> God dang it. That's just the joke at this point. Um, so, um... Oh, I had an interesting conversation with uh, my uh, friend who is uh, from Austria, and uh, I was mentioning about how over here in the U.S. Uh, it's a really common job we've had for, I don't know, a very long time, I'm pretty sure. Um, probably since, like, somewhere in, like, the mid-90s at earliest, but, you know, like, bagging jobs. So, um, again, this probably seems weird to uh, us, uh, the U.S., that, like, I would even bring this up, but, um, yeah, he was, like, shocked that, uh, that existed as a type of job here, you know, like, to just kind of bag groceries for people at stores, um, which I, again, I find that very fascinating. Uh oh. Frick! He has my protect ring. Why? Why? Okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Will this work? Please tell me it will. Well, I got that at least. Um... Okay, zero. Just because I'm mad. I hate this. Okay, um, side bell. Ugh. Okay, I'm I'm more than a little bit salty about that, but whatever. It's just a protect ring. I already have like people with a ton of defense. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, as I was saying, uh, freaking. Oh yeah, so I guess it was interesting to me that uh, he didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> um, I don't know. Okay. So, alright. 
So I really want to level up that knife. Um, see how far it takes me. So we're already at like 24 minutes. Uh, okay, well, let's see, let's move you there. Hold. And rock this guy's world <laughs> with that axe. Okay. Sweet. Alright. Boom. And he is down. Do frick you. Ah. Okay. So. <sighs> Goodbye, protectoring. All right. Well, either way, we're moving on. All right. This is like a, a pain train that doesn't stop. I should have saved before I did that, actually. But you know what? Whatever. We're rolling with it. Um, I maybe would have reset if this was Fire Emblem. <laughs> uh, but, frick! I can't go like more than a couple seconds. Uh, I'm sure, uh, okay. I was also told I should probably not apologize as much. Uh, most of the reason I do that, uh, has more to do with the fact that like, you know, I really want to make sure I'm making content that you, know, you, get, that you guys enjoy. Uh, and... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's just how I am, I guess. Um, because I know there's like a lot of YouTubers that like I follow, and that like you know they very unapologetically they say like a ton of uh, like stuff that like annoys a lot of people. And you know I want to be like malleable enough to kind of be like uh, understanding of where people are coming from when they give me like criticism and stuff. Now I haven't really gotten any criticism per se yet. Uh, in regards to this, um, but, you know, I just want to, uh, make it very clear, like, you know, I care about, uh, giving more interesting commentary, I guess, whenever I can, um, but, anyway, so, let's see, so that was technically a failure of a ruin map, but, yeah, we got some stuff out of it, I guess, um, Worm. I hate these things so much. Okay. Burrito can't even reach him yet. Alright, that's cute. Um, you go here, item, equip, equip the tomahawk, boop, and boom. Okay. Cool. So, you guys have a little friendship thing building, so that's nice. Um, magic, so I'm not gonna use that again. That was a little excessive. I just wanted to see what it looked like. Okay. But, yeah. I guess, um... Hmm. I wish I played more tactics games. Oh, I was, uh, replaying a favorite game of mine, and it's not this kind of game at all. But, um... I finally, for the first time in a really long time, uh, replayed Metroid Prime, uh, and I really needed that. Um, if you guys don't know, Metroid Prime is one of my favorite games ever. It's like my second or third favorite. I love it to death. Uh, so, and it was like a 100% run. It was fun. It just had been so, so long since I played it last. Uh, at least it feels like it was a long time ago. It was probably more accurate to say like a year, um, which to me is a long time for that game. I, but what can I do? Okay, so Medion, you're moving back right there. Oh my gosh, all the support things we're building up. Jeez. Okay, so let's see. Do 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 do. I should probably um move some people over one pathway, and then uh, pinch these guys in. Um, in the meantime though, let's use another antidote on Medion. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> that music. Not that music, but that uh, theme. What does that do here? Okay, so that just turns that on and off. Okay. Interesting. So, um, let's move you here, 
and um all right let's equip um item small axe let's do it let's do it frick wow these guys are sturdy okay um let's use magic on the bat because I want to give that kill to uh, my ninja girl who I just got um gosh <sighs> um I guess I did bring up that shining game uh yeah it looks okay <laughs> um and not really like great just kind of there um I don't know um let's give that up and attack boop Okay, so let's move zero there, and let's try and move some guys over that direction. Um, yeah, I should have given zero a rapier. I'll probably do that uh, at the like the next town or something. Um, Waltz, you're going there, and cool. So I'm not sure when I want to promote in this game. I'm gonna guess probably around chapter four, like I did last time. Um, so, we're gonna keep with this for a while, but our guys are getting up there in levels, uh, at least, you know, comparatively. Um, let's see, uh, how are you doing? 21 HP. That ring I gave him is doing wonders. Um, 18 out of 19. You know what? Oh, I can't even reach him. Okay, well, let's just hold out then. And, Rock, you're gonna go here. And Sintessa, so you're gonna back him up. Um, same with you. And go Hazuki. Okay. Okay. Um, Zero, you're going there. And. Right, go Bernard. So. <laughs> uh, anyways. Um, strategizing, am I right? Uh, what is your name? Okay, so it's only like just next to the bridge. Um, actually, you're gonna stay there so Uriudo can heal you. Um, Waltz, you're gonna go there. Then they're gonna be waltzing on in. <laughs> anyway, that was a little more damage, but I'm okay with that. Wow, those guys just really don't move unless you're in range. Okay, well, Uriudo. You know what to do. Actually, you don't know what to do because you're not an AI. <laughs> you just do what I tell you to. Okay. Um. Let's move Rock here and attack this guy. Zero can finish him off. Maybe. Um. Do 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 want to give it to you? I could. Um. Well, let's go for that anyway. Let's try out the shurikens because I didn't really use them that much in uh, scenario one. Uh, then again, I got my ninja really late in scenario one. Okay, let's attack you. Uh, if I remember, Slade was... I think he could have been really good in Shiny Force 2. Uh, he was the great mouse detective, as I like to call him. Um, yeah. No. Um, he was a cool character. I do think that I just didn't use him that much. Um, it's been a little bit since I played Shiny Force 2, actually. So, like, my comparisons for that game are very fairly condensed into Scenario 1. Um, but, okay, so we have this goblin dude. Okay, ah, this map just keeps going. We're almost, we're reaching that 40 minutes, which I don't like. Um, 
Okay, so let's move you here. Let's just kill some of these guys and move onward. Um, let's go here and attack him. Boom, 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 boom. Love that. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I think also, uh, if possible, the next town that we go to, I'm gonna need to buy some weapons. Um, Azuki, you're gonna go here, and... Okay, Cricket, you're going to uh, equip the sword. Um, there we go. Murder. Woo! Way to go, Hazuki! Alright. So, now, uh, Campbell, you're gonna kill this guy. Maybe. I don't think you will, but... Supercharge? Okay. So that's learned now. Um, okay, so zero, you're going to finish off this guy. Boom. Level 8! Awesome. So it's good that I'm getting him some levels. He's definitely better than uh, Eldar. Oh, I saw some interesting fan art of Eldar. I will leave it at that. <laughs> oh my. Um, things you run across when trying to find concept art for this game. <laughs> Okay, so let's go here, Burrito, uh, heal on zero. Okay. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Gets me every single time, man. Okay. So, yeah, um, I don't know, I kind of want to make a video at some point, if possible, to talk about, uh, these games, uh, specifically this one. Uh, and kind of just like say like, hey, if you're a Fire Emblem fan, you guys might like this or something. I don't know. Because I think like, there is like an untapped, uh, you know, future fan base. If you could like promote this series to like the right people. Um, I don't know, I like this game. But I also like a lot of old games. I have a very specific taste, I've just kind of realized. Um, I don't know why, but hey, I'm just one of those like, weird youngins that just likes a ton of old games. Um, okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, go there, Rock, and we're gonna see what this stupid fight. Okay. Just walk on the regular land. There's, like, no reason to walk on that. Unless it just, you know, ambushes me, which would be Freaking great, right? Um, ah, he'll take. Oh wait, no, he doesn't get the bonuses. Oh, I knew it though. I was like, this area is a little too empty. Oh. Okay, there we go. Um. Okay, item, equip, use the epi. Oh wow, it doesn't do special damage to these guys. Okay. So, uh, uh... Okay, let me move you there and attack. Boop, boop, boom. Sweet. Okay. I still wonder how possible it is for these games to get ported. Uh, I know they would probably have to remake this whole game if they were to do it. In which case, uh, I wonder how they would do that, but... Gosh. Okay, let's move Ryudo here. And... right. My only thing is I really hope uh, the emulation for the Saturn gets better. I know that's like a weird thing to say, but like, I really think, honestly, at this point, 
That's probably your best bet for like new Shining Force 3 players at this rate. Which I, I know. That's, that's, that's sketchy, but like. The thing is, like, the Saturn emulator, it is better than it was evidently. But man, I have some problems with this freaking emulator, guys. It, it really needs uh, stuff like. Like, I was reading that some of my issues with this had something to do with, like, DirectX input and stuff like that, and, like, things not being supported, and it's like, oh gosh, this is ridiculous. Um, do, 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 Okay. Um, okay, let's go here, item, uh, equip, the shuriken, attack, I should sell one of those. What can you do? I just noticed they defined one aspect of her character design that I didn't expect. Oh my goodness. This is, these are super detailed character models for the time. I will definitely say that. Like, even some of the 3D character models I would say in like Final Fantasy VII aren't really on level with this, which impresses me, I guess. Um... Though this, this specific scenario came out like a year after Final Fantasy VII, so yeah, I guess that's not too surprising. Alright, this is going to be a longer part, guys. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I want to finish this map, this part. Um, okay, so some tests are going to go there. I could send some people up this way. Maybe I will. Okay. Um, Okay. Okay. I'm really glad though that the um, graphics are working better this scenario than they were uh, for the first one. Okay. So let's go here and attack this guy. Boop. Boom. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. So <laughs> I don't know. My commentary is just kind of devolved every single time, especially when it's just like a world map fight like this. Because it's like, what can I even say about it? It's like grass and trees and mountains. It's it's more interesting than it is in Shining Force 1 and 2, but not by a lot. Like, I do still really love how much the 3D adds to it. I definitely will say that. It does add a lot. Um, it's still not, like the most visually interesting once you get used to it, which I have at this point. Um, okay, frickin' just whack it, Sintesis. Boop! Alright, that is one dead bat. Um, cool, now you are gonna go there, and... Um, zero, attack this guy. Come on. Sky high. Woo! Sweet. It's just those Republican soldiers were saying. The beasts have grown vicious and strong. Almost as if the bonds on them have been loosened. Hmm. So you sense it, Prince Medion. I feel the weakening of Elberson's protection here as well. What could possibly weaken Elberson's power, Grantak? It's difficult to tell, but Elberson's influence has definitely been weakened. Hmm. Maybe I'm just thick skinned, but I don't feel anything. If Elberson's influence was waning, does that mean something is wrong in Elberson Village? That may be it. Something may have happened in Elberson, and we're feeling it. 
something as weak in Elvison's protection would have to be far more serious than a regional problem like the war between the Empire and Republic. Hmm. Well, there is little time to talk of this matter now. We must focus on supporting the Symbios Army. Alright, well. Cool. Um. <laughs> Ooh, this music. Oh gosh, I'm gonna need to end the part soon. Oh. They're in perfect position to ambush the Symbios Army. When the Symbios Army arrives, they'll likely see nothing out of the ordinary. Hmm. Faced with this ambush, even the most cautious general could be caught unaware. Isn't that General Garza? So, amb so the ambush is his strategy. How cowardly. There's a typo right there. And General Edmund as well. I can't believe a general so respected and trusted by the citizens of the Republic would betray his country. That birdman appears to be a scout. The Symbios army must be approaching. Oh boy. Oh! Hey! Oh no! King Benetram and the Symbios army are walking right into the trap! Listen up, Edmund army. Oh. The Symbios army and King Benetram have arrived. Get your positions and prepare for battle! Hmm. This historic battle is upon us. This is our opportunity to bring real change to Espina. When King Benetrum and the Symbios army reach the middle of the bridge, our collective attack will seal their fates. I'm afraid we'll have to stop your little scheme. What? what The Imperial army? What are you doing here? So you were in Rhineside. If you knew about our plans, then we can't let you live. We need to silence the Imperial army first. Don't allow even a single one to escape! We must defeat the Edmund army, Medion. We can't let such a treacherous plot succeed. Yeah, let's go. We must protect King Benetram and thwart their plans. From what I can see of the topography, we should divide our force into two, rather than trying to head through the center. That might catch him off guard. Your orders, Prince Medion? Okay. Well, that's neat. Anyways, uh, as soon as it loads... Oh, 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 okay, this is a totally different map. Okay, okay, alright, well, and I see what he means. Alright, well, and there's barrels. Okay, if there's barrels... Uh, well, I want to check this real quick before I end off just to make sure that there aren't any items that I'm going to miss out on, and it would be unfortunate. Um, okay, well... Seems there are some uh, promoted dudes among this group. But either way, I want to thank you guys for tuning into this part of Shining Force 3 Scenario 2. And uh, yeah, this game's sick. I don't know what to say. But I'll see you guys in the next part where uh, we do this and we beat up this guy. Yeah. Anyway, see you guys later. Mm -hmm. Bye.